Are you excited for pancakes? Are you excited? I am. We're in Gatlinburg now, and uh, looks getting pretty antsy. We're gonna go um, to the pancake pantry and get some breakfast, and we got some pretty fun things to plan to do today. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to some of it, if not all of it. It's a little bit drizzly out today, but it should be fun. I'm really excited. I've been to Gatlinburg before and had a lot of fun, and Luke and I have driven through, but he's never really done anything here, so I'm excited to show him what I enjoyed last time I was here. You guys ready for pancakes? <laughs> Look at you, Libby Lou. All right, let's go get pancakes. Well, we just got back from breakfast, which was really good. We had crepes. They were super duper good. Um, it's drizzling a bit outside, so we came back to the hotel. It's supposed to be done in about 20 minutes, so we'll go back out and explore. And we might go see how much it costs to go up the Space Needle. I don't know if we'll do that, but it would be fun. So when we got done with breakfast and we came out, it was just starting to drizzle. We started walking back to the hotel and then somebody comes up behind us and is like, Oh, you're going to need this. So they handed us an umbrella and they just handed it to us. That was really nice. Livy, what do you want to do? What do you want to explore? What do you want to explore? So we bring this play mat with us so Livy can do her tummy time and Luke can do his tummy time too. And we have this mini crib. It's um like a mini um pack and play. Works great. We just use a uh, queen size zip up pillowcase over the little mattress and it works perfect for a sheet. And she actually does really good in this. She sleeps really well. Um, and it's super easy to take up and put down. We just put her in our sleep sack before she goes to bed. And um, yeah, she's been going right to sleep. She's been doing so, so good. So we're on the seat of the tram ride. Apparently Libby doesn't like it. She just doesn't like setting. She likes to move constantly. We got wet butts. <laughs> yeah, it's raining today. It's nice. Turns out the rainy days are the best days. So this is with the camera level. 
and then that's going up at, I would say, about a 40 degree angle. It's so quiet, I feel like I have to whisper. Made it to the top. There's the view. Oh, isn't it a nice view? Yeah, it's a little bit foggy today, but... You can see for close to 100 feet. It's nice. It's still really cool. Here's a nice scene of me in front of, in front of the, the view. Nice view, right? So, it's the next day, and we're getting ready to leave Gatlinburg and head on to Luke's sister's house. Um, so typically when Luke and I travel, we travel pretty light. We just bring a little bit of stuff with us. And now since we have Livy, we had to just bring a little bit more stuff. So I wanted to show you our stuff compared to Livy's stuff. Luke and I have that. That's Livy's stuff. We have a diaper bag, clothes and play mat, portable crib, cooler for um, bottles, secondary diaper bag with actual diapers and some toys. Bouncy seat for entertainment so we don't have to hold her 24-7. Load all the stuff into the vehicle and then head into town one more time to... To get coffee. Yeah, I need some coffee. coffee. Yeah. That's why I'm like half dead right now. I need my coffee. today without the rain so we decided not to do this yesterday and just do it this morning since it's so clear and nice out today. Alright so it turns out we were on the wrong road. I led Luke astray on an accident. My memory did not serve me very correctly and we went the wrong way. We went about 20 miles out of the way, then 20 miles back, but we are now on the right road, headed to the right place. Now I've been up this road a couple of times before, and if you keep going, it eventually gets to the highest point of the Smoky Mountains. But I've never been up that far. I've been to the second highest point in the Smoky Mountains because the first time I came up was when I was 16 with my grandmother, and um, she's a little bit afraid of heights, so she didn't want to drive to the highest point. So we went to the second highest point. I came with Luke before, and we wanted to go to the highest spot, but it was closed due to too much snow. I guess we'll see if the road's open this time. I'm really hoping we can go all the way up. Go back over to Newfoundland Gap.
Got some extra entertainment going on for Livy over here. We got our sunshades going up. It was pretty cloudy on the way over so we didn't need them, but it's sunny now and it bothers her. So what do you think? Well, it's a bit disappointing. Uh, they did not pull a fresh out of espresso. They're just kind of pumping it out of a jar, which defeats the entire purpose of going to a coffee shop. So you don't really get the flavor out of it. It's a step up from diner coffee, but that's not saying much. What did you get? I got what they call the black eye, which is a cup of coffee with two shots of espresso in it but again it's not two shots of espresso it's two pumps out of a bottle that contains old espresso I got a instead of just a chai tea latte this time I got a dirty chai and I've never tried that before um, but I can say it to me it just tasted like a cup of coffee with some creamer in it 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 did not even have the taste of chai like the the dirty chai was drinkable but i didn't even finish my cup i didn't care for it same it was you could drink it it's better than trying to get diner coffee but not by much so luke on a scale of one to ten what would you give this place three i'd have to agree in a tourist town, they're not catering to a crowd that keeps coming back. They're just catering to people that, um, constantly new people. So they really don't have to have the best kind of coffee. And they really don't have to have the best service. Um, because both were lacking. Both the flavor and the service. Um, but they, they don't have to establish that because they don't really care if you come back or not. Because there's going to be plenty of new tourists coming through tomorrow. So with that in mind, if you want a decent cup of coffee, you have to go somewhere where they need repeat customers to survive. And also in that place, you will be able to get a better feel for the area because they are locals and they are catering to locals, so it'll be more authentic. Small town coffee is definitely the best. For sure. So, if you are semi-gluten free, I would highly recommend going to Chick-fil-A and getting their grilled chicken sandwich on the gluten-free bun. It's so good. It, they um, put the, the chicken and tomato and lettuce in the container and then you get the gluten-free bun in a wrapper and then you just put it together yourself and then norm it normally comes with sauce. You put that on too and it is so good. We're in Tennessee. The weather is beautiful. Livy's enjoying Luke's fingers. Tonight we're gonna go get some barbecue in Alabama, which is cool because I've never been to Alabama before, so there's another state I can cross off on my list. And then we're gonna start heading home tomorrow. We're gonna head to Indiana to visit my grandparents, and then we're gonna head home from there. I guess the trip has to come to an end at some point. I think we've been thinking about a lot of stuff on this trip, and we've been making some decisions. Well, not full decisions, but we've been thinking about the decisions, so. We are planning on getting a, a travel trailer at some point, right? Yeah. I'm going to start traveling around and just doing this at least, you know, part of the time because that's what I really want to do. And Luke enjoys it too. And Luffy has been doing so great on the road. She seems to really like it. She likes to be out and about. She loves to be moving around. Um, she's She's been really doing great, so. It should be an exciting adventure. Yeah, hopefully it'll be the start of a of a new journey here. So what we do right now is um, we have our own business and Luke does vehicle restorations on, on classic cars. So he does classic vehicle restoration. Um, that's his passion. He's been doing it for a long time. And last year we finally just decided we're going to start our own business. We wanted to be our own bosses and have a more flexible schedule. And we had a lot of business lined up at first. 
and then the coronas hit and some of the business went away um and we've, we've just been kind of behind on some stuff and luke's found that he doesn't really want to be his own boss like it's, it's kind of stressful to have your own business and we don't have any time to work on our own stuff we have so many projects and restorations we want to do for ourselves and we don't have any time to do that so if we could find something else to do where we're still kind of our own bosses and can still make our own schedule and then have time for that that would be great so we're really hoping that um, our vlog will take off and um, we can just kind of live the dream at least part of the time and my dream has always been to travel and like I said Luke enjoys it too and then his is just kind of to work on his own projects at his own pace so we're hoping to kind of um, make videos from that too because that's kind of my passion is photography and videos and, and stuff like that so we're really excited about it and trying to score himself a second breakfast from the Holiday Inn we stayed at. We should get home tonight. We're in Ohio right now. We have about a nine or 10 hour drive ahead of us. I'm just so grateful for Luke. He has driven this entire trip so far. I've been willing to drive, but he's been driving because I'm really uncomfortable driving because uh, a little over a year ago, I was in a car accident, a really bad head-on collision. It was it was pretty bad. 100% the other guy's fault. Um, I totaled my car, so ever since then I've had really bad PTSD um, when trying to drive. So Luke, Luke knows that and he's been driving the whole time. I still get really bad anxiety when I'm in the car and get close to other cars, which is pretty much constantly on the highway. Do you get yourself another breakfast? Of course. Paid enough for it. Luke's favorite thing about staying in hotels is the free breakfast, so. All right, All right. heading home. Ready? Yeah. So Luke's got a bit of a heavy foot, so I like to keep track of the speed traps for him. Check out all them speed traps. <laughs> Starting to get back into some of the hill country of New York. The mountains are one thing that I miss whenever we're not in New York. That's the one, one of the things keeping me in New York State is It's 9 o'clock at night. We finally made it home. We traveled over 2,000 miles in the past week. We were on the road for more than 30 hours. And we're finally home. I think Livy was really ready to be home. She seems quite happy. Luke was ready to be home. Okay. <laughs> At the, the end of our first road trip with our newborn. I'd say it went quite well. What, would, what do you think, Luke? Yeah, all things considered, it went pretty good. Mm -hmm. She did great in the car. I'm looking forward to her next trip. Did you have so much fun on our trip? Yeah? You're so happy to be home? It's time to go get ready for bed and put you into your crib. You need to sleep in your own crib tonight. <laughs> Can you wave goodbye? Can you say bye-bye? We'll see you next time. Hi, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. This is a brand new channel we just started up. Help support our channel by liking this video and subscribing. And turning on the notifications. Apparently that's a thing.